The value of Bitcoin has plunged below the $7,000, £5,000 mark for the first time since November 15 as the leading cryptocurrency continues to crumble. Bitcoin made headlines around the world when it soared to almost $20,000, £14,500 for a single coin in the run-up to Christmas. However, at the time of publishing the digital currency was trading down 14.7% against the dollar at $6,986 a coin, according to data from Markets Insider. That's nearly a 64% decline from its all-time high set in December. The total market capitalization of the crypto market has now slumped by more than $70 billion over the last 24 hours. The bloodbath appears to be connected to a string of announcements by several major banks that they will ban the use of their credit cards to buy Bitcoin and other digital currencies. Virgin Money has joined Lloyds Banking Group in banning customers from buying Bitcoin and other digital currencies with their credit cards. Virgin Money spokesperson said, following a review of our policies, I can confirm customers will no longer be able to use their Virgin Money credit card to purchase cryptocurrencies. Like Lloyd's, Virgin's ban only applies to its credit cards, not debit cards. Lloyd's yesterday told its 9 million credit card users it will block any future bids to buy the digital currency which has lost more than half its value in just two months. The price of Bitcoin has plummeted by more than 57% from £14,000 in December to less than £6,000. Lloyd's bosses now fear they could end up footing the bill for unpaid debt should the price fall any further. So credit card customers of Lloyd's, which includes Halifax, Bank of Scotland and MBNA, are now blocked from buying the cryptocurrency online. Banking experts predict other leading financial institutions will quickly follow suit, reports The Telegraph. Across Lloyds Bank, Bank of Scotland, Halifax, and MBNA, we do not accept credit card transactions involving the purchase of cryptocurrencies, said a company spokeswoman. Credit card customers of the bank will be blocked from buying Bitcoin online through a blacklist that will flag sellers 